Hey, what's going on guys? Rudelanel here, bringing you back with another Python tutorial. Let's get idle fired up and let's jump right into the action. I'm going to create a new program here. Uh, I'll save this as file.python, keep it easy as usual. Get my shebang line going. Obviously if you're on Windows you don't have to do this, but it's a good idea to do so if you are on Linux. I'm going to create a class here, class base as usual. Define our constructor, which is the init keyword, surrounded by two parentheses, I'm sorry, two underscores on either end. The self keyword gets passed just like every other function that you create inside of an object. And then we'll test whether or not this is the program we are running currently at the moment. We'll get our code block started up and we'll create a root object, actually a root instance of the base class. Alright. Check it out. Check it all out. Let's run this. And nothing happens because we've supplied the pass variable which doesn't do anything. Okay. But hey, let's take a look at what we got here. Well, let's set up a, an array or a list of numbers. Numbers can equal... Uh, I guess it could be a tuple, it doesn't really matter. 2, 100, negative 3, maybe uh, 429, and then maybe uh, 0. Okay, so we got, a, we got a list of self numbers. So now if we print out the minimum, which is a new function here, which lets us find the minimum of the minimum value of anything that we pass to it, in our case an array, in our case, it finds negative three because that is the smallest number here in that in that list or that array. So uh, let's see how that's really happened. Let's see how we can make that our own. Let's give it a go. Let's uh, let's create a new function here. Let's define get minimum. That's what I'm going to call mine. Obviously, you can call it whatever you'd like. Remember, we have to pass in the self and then the uh, the array. All right, so. First, we're going to begin to loop through the array, just because looping is our friend, our friend, and that's everything that we do. So for each element in the array, we can do something with it. First, we want to test whether element, the current element that we're on, is the first element in the array. So what we do is we can use some indexing here, and we can use zero, because that's the, that's the initial element inside an array. If the element is the, this is the first element in the array, we can set the lowest or the minimum to element. And now else, if it's not, we can just uh, we can just keep going. We can keep looping through it. And if I want to test again, if the current element is less than minimum, what we have so far, we should reset minimum to that element. Minimum equals element. And then when we're done looping and everything, we can just return minimum. So we have successfully found the smallest number because we keep looping through it and if we find anything that is smaller than what we what we know about so far, we'll just we'll the minimum number will become that. So let's try it. Let's do a uh, print self dot get minimum and then we can uh, run self dot numbers here. Run this f5, and we still get negative three. So uh, let's create another variable. The let's try a list of numbers. Cause I'm very very unoriginal when I name my variables. Let's do um 200. Let's do 300. Let's do 3,000. Actually, yeah, big numbers. Here we go. Let's do um whatever that is. 76,337. Um nine. Let's keep it as nine. And then maybe uh, 543. Now, if we pass in self dot list of numbers, it'll give us nine because that's the smallest one in that array. Now, obviously, this doesn't have to be a list; it can just be a tuple since it's really practically the same thing. And obviously, you can play around with this idea a little bit more if you want to set things up so you can have a, a tuple of your arguments, and you don't have to send in an array. You could just send in a bunch of integers, and then it'll sort it out through that. But it's whatever you want to do. Uh, I'm just giving this, I'm giving this to you guys as an idea. This is always something you can work with. This is definitely something you could figure out on your own. But uh, hey, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you again in the next tutorial.